My homily for the sixth Sunday of Easter, 14th of May 2023. Today's Gospel is part of what is called Jesus' farewell discourse, delivered at the Last Supper, just before he died. So it's like his last will and testament, and therefore something we should consider carefully. Firstly, he explains how we show that we love him by keeping his commandments. And we know what that means. Jesus himself summarised it thus. We love God and we love our neighbour as ourselves. The three-pronged love of God, neighbour and ourselves that make love whole and complete. If any one of them is missing, then the whole thing collapses. Like a three-legged stool cannot stand if one leg is missing. Then Jesus goes on to speak about who he is going to give us. Another advocate to be with you forever, the spirit of truth. Advocacy is a very interesting term to use for the Holy Spirit. Advocacy as a noun means someone who pleads for another. And as a verb means to plead, argue or recommend. The Holy Spirit is on our side, recommending us and supporting us. And we know him, says Jesus. Well, he certainly knows us, for he is with you, he is in you, says Jesus. Just think about that. The Holy Spirit is with us and is in us. That must mean he is very close to us. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are one. That is our Christian faith. So whatever applies to one applies to all. I like thinking of God as our advocate, representing us, recommending us, and very much on our side. It brings to mind a favourite quote of mine from St Paul's letter to the Romans. With God on our side, who can be against us? We often think of God as our judge, calling us to account for our lives. And so he is. But that's not the whole picture. For he is also our advocate, one who pleads our cause and represents us. Clearly he is a compassionate and merciful judge, looking for reasons to let us off. We must make sure we give him reasons to do just that. And I think charity is a key area where we can do that. Giving of our time, our resources and ourselves. At the heart of our faith is Jesus, giving himself on the cross, and he still gives himself today in Holy Communion. When we give of ourselves, when we are generous, we are like Jesus.